And welcome back to Let's Play Homeland. Today we're checking out the Mages Guild. Sure, I'll go, or the Mages Circle as it would be. Sure, we have an extra day. Ooh, I like the look of this place. Old woman. Well met, Imperial. Welcome to our circle. Ooh, I like the look of this place. It's got nice, uh, clean walls and... What if they have any porno in the... Oh. Ah, Paladin. I must say that I envy you, sir. Why is that? Because you don't have to wear this headpiece, that's why. It's as though our magic is more powerful, the more silly we look. It actually is a theory of one source of magic is the negative thoughts of those around them. That's why they make mages dress in a silly manner. Okay, you're not helping. <laughs> I like the dialogue in this game. I'm going to say it again. I like the dialogue. Let's see if there's any porno in here. Nope, nope, nope. And I forgot to heal up at the home as well, didn't I? Yeah, Joey, why don't you just set it so that it heals you when you head back home anyway? It's been a shame that necromancy has been banned. It would be such a powerful and useful to use in battle, don't you think? Especially if you're fighting against an army. Every soldier they lose, you gain one. You could easily overwhelm them with such power. And there's a typo right there. I want to get on that. Oh dear, is this the one that's going to tempt me with... Necromancy? I understand you seek our help. If we are able, we will gladly assist you in your war. What's in here? Nothing. Hello there. Hello, Paladin. You are the Imperial we were told to expect, yes? I am Solora, the leader of this circle. An honor, Solora. Would you be able to help us in the efforts against the Dominion? If, you're, if we are to help you, we will need your aid in preparing ourselves. What you need me to do? A simple task. In the forest nearby, we need you to get five mushrooms that you will easily be able to spot. We require it for our reagents. You require more minerals? Very well, I guess that won't be too much trouble. I know it's an annoyance that we ask this of you, but we are trying to, as we are trying to help get help for your people, but you have to understand that this is not something light you ask of us. Alright. I'll get the ingredients you need. We will be ready when you return. Alrighty. So that's our assignment. Find mushrooms. There's a log! No, that's not a mushroom. Found a mushroom. You don't have one. Ah, crap. Bees! Or hornets! Uh, let's fight them. Should not be that bad, yeah. These guys are all fairly simple. Uh, he was talking to me earlier. He said he wished that he could scale the enemies based on your level. So they get harder depending on which uh, section you go to. But, wow, 38 experience were received. I think, I guess you're supposed to take the Mage's Guild first. And so it's designed to do that, to do it that way. Another mushroom? Ah! Reptile and hornets. Reptile should be fairly easily. Uh, let's attack a reptile, see if it does any. Wow, he has a lot of hit points. I guess I take back what I said earlier about this. Harry's supposed to be taken first. God damn, that reptile has a lot of hit points. Jeez. 103 experience were gained. Okay. It's a log. It's a small bush. It's a chest with 500 gold inside. Okay, that was just a reptile and two hornets again. And there's nothing in here, so I went this way for no reason. Okay, yeah, you might want to make the forest look a bit more natural, because forests don't naturally look all square-like. And long hallway this way. More fights. Ooh, and we have plants this time. I'll attack the plant. Plant attacks, and I take 77 damage, and Hornet deals 1 damage to me. Wow. Weak little fucker. Plant attacks! Attack the plant again. Damn, the plant is still not dead? Okay, good thing he didn't attack me again, because I might have died there. Okay, time to heal up. Heal. There we go. And there's another mushroom. And double reptiles. Let's use our ultima skill. 
Might not even kill them all. Killed one of them, and killed the other one. Awesome. Alright, that worked. Not a mushroom. You have three. Okay, the last one should be down. I see another one down there. And that fight gave us an antidote, even though we haven't been poisoned yet. Which is good. I hate poison in these games. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, that was my, my thoughts exactly. So, yeah, something bad is going to happen when we try to pluck the last one, I think. Luck was victorious! And there's the last, uh, mushroom. What else do we have? I think we're about done here. What's my level at? What's my status at? Uh, 2,000 more to go. I'm not going to grind for the next level. I am going to save first, though. Not a mushroom. You now have five. Oh, dear! A werewolf? Okay, I did not expect that. I kind of expected the mushroom to actually attack me. It's a, it's a weird situation when a mushroom attacking you is more logical than a werewolf attacking you. Okay, let's uh, see how this goes. Let's try our Ultima out first. Even though it's only one enemy. 315 damage. 57 damage, 54 damage, 61. Holy shit, three, three attacks. That's not good at all. Try Thunder! Evade. 51. And that's it. And I'll just keep hitting him with Ultima until I run out of MP, I suppose. 271. 60. 59. 56. Okay, time to heal myself up. And he is fast. He is very, very fast. Only 407? Jeez. Uh, let's do my quick move. Lock cast quick move. Lock's agility is increased. Let's do heal again, because I don't want to get down too far. And you can deal a lot of damage to me. Lock has been silenced. Great. Okay, well, good thing I healed beforehand. Awesome. Critical hit. Awesome. Okay. 56. Lock took 60 damage. 47 damage. I just gotta keep hitting him until I... I wonder how long silence lasts, or if it's permanent until I heal it. No, it doesn't matter, he's dead. Locks agility returned to normal, even though I already beat the boss. 1500 gold were obtained. You found all the mushrooms needed for the mages to brew their potions they need for spells, or whatever it is they needed it for. With this completed, you return with the mages to the base camp. Morale is strongly increased. Where are our mages? The mages are down here. So, I am going to go in here and heal. Yes, I do. Yay, stock music. Yeah, that's a nice, uh... That's a nice sprite. I don't have access to that sprite. You do realize we're about to go to battle, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'll be ready, Captain. Just give me five minutes. Sigh. Okay. Next, I will save. Jeez, a lot of items here. Okay, time to save now. I will save. Eh, slot four, might as well. Alright, now time to buy shit. Do you need something? I will buy... Let's see, what can I afford? The halberd. The flail. Uh, I'm gonna see what my team can use first, and then I will buy whatever I need. Oh, I, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, I hit cancel, and you set the... And you went to the, uh... Number two. Yeah. So you should set that properly. Hit cancel here. Yeah, and it goes... And that one went to leave. And hit cancel, and... Yeah, that one went to the wrong one, too. So, Joey, you might want to set those as the correct ones. I don't know much about the circle, aside from what I hear others say. Anything you can tell me? Well, I can tell you it's the oldest known structure in the Empire. We dated over 5,000 years old. Faint essences of many past mages still linger in the circle. You mean like ghosts? Not necessarily. I guess a more accurate way to explain is that their experience and memory still linger. For those who focus, we can see what they experienced. Of course, not without, not with absolute clarity. Many of the visions we see are hazy. So are more so, the older the vision is. There are some we can only vaguely hear, like sounds like voices. But we cannot see anything. 
It's a dark tunnel to the past. Sounds kind of unsettling for some reason, to be honest. The thought of seeing people who have been dead for over a thousand years can be frightening. Yes, it can. I'm gonna crack my glasses during the battle. Hope a spell doesn't backfire. Last time that happened, well, I guess let's just say we're lucky to still have a library. <laughs> I keep wondering what the middle people say. Uh, I guess that's part of the design. He's not supposed to be able to talk to the middle person. Alright, time to see how the morale is. Morale. How the morale? Excellent, Captain. Our soldiers feel ready and confident that we can beat the Dominion. Yay! I'll save again right here. And let's... Let's move! With the order given, Captain Locke and his forces move out to meet the Dominion forces. Solara never seems to sense the dark taint upon you from accepting the offer from the Dark Lord. All the guild leaders are now in your party, and you have a chance to buy equipment for them. Your morale earns you a bonus of 600 experience. Not enough to buy a level, though. Alright. Alright, I can buy my equipment, and when we continue, I guess we go into the finale of Homeland. I will see you folks there.